Remember that movie, Don't Look Up? It came out last year on Netflix, starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence. It's a par perfect parable for the climate crisis, particularly with how difficult it is to get the public to face an existential threat that seems distant. On this show, we've already pointed out real-life moments that are almost indistinguishable from scenes in the movie, like when a climate activist appeared on the UK morning show Good Morning Britain back in April. The clothes that you're wearing, to some extent, owe their existence to oil because they were taken in a car or a truck or a van to a shop, you know? I'm sorry, are we, are, are we not being clear? We're talking about crop failure by 2030. We're talking about people in this country right now in fuel poverty because of the prices of oil. Oh, and you're talking no, no, about no, no, the no, clothes no, that no, I'm wearing. No. We're trying to tell you that the entire planet is about to be destroyed. Well, as Europe suffers from a record-breaking heat wave this week, now we have another real-life example that mirrors don't look up, this time from GB News. Take a look. Just something we do around here, you know, we just keep the bad news light. Right, it helps the medicine go down. And speaking of medicine, tomorrow we've got a two Well, maybe the destruction of the entire planet isn't supposed to be fun. Maybe it's supposed to be terrifying. John, I want us to be happy about the weather and every single... I don't know whether something's happened to meteorologists to make you all a little bit fatalistic and, and <laughs> harbingers of doom. Because all of the broadcasts, particularly on, on the BBC, every time I've turned on anyone's talking about the weather, they're saying that there's going to be tons of fatalities. But haven't we always had hot weather, John? I mean, wasn't the 76, the summer of 76, that was as hot as this, wasn't it? Uh, no. Uh, and, you know, we are seeing more and more records, more and more frequently and more and more severely. Uh, so, yeah, some people always hop back to the summer of 76, which was a freak event 40 odd years ago, over 40 years ago. Uh, but heat waves are becoming more extreme. This is yet another one which is coming down the tracks towards us. And, you know, I don't think we should be too lighthearted light about the fact that, that many are going to die early next week because of the heat. 40 degrees, the sort of temperature that this country, I'm afraid, is just not geared up to cope with. Meteorologist John Hammond is exactly right. The UK is not prepared for this kind of heat wave. The same can be said for much of the world. 